Oh, what to do it's your boy Merle back again with another reaction before we hop into it make sure you subscribe to my channel check out my spotify playlist soundcloud all my social media in the description box let's hop into it today we got my girl Tanache Nache if you nasty with Rascal I think it's superstar is in what do you call it parentheses um this is like a Lucy I guess she, she's just dropping I believe from what I've seen some fans say I think she recorded this like during the songs for you sessions it didn't make the project but i think a lot of people love the song or have been requesting that she drop the song so she decided to shoot a video and here we are i have been very 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 curious but i have not listened to the song yet i wanted to wait to react to it with y'all on camera so let's just hop right into it i hope tanache i know it's like quarantine so she probably won't have dancers and that whole thing but she's one of the artists i look for to dance and give us choreo and all that so i'm hoping she brings some of that into here and also it's produced by sage gemini i'm a cali baby i love sage gemini like i love his voice his tone of voice dope ass rapper but a fire ass producer shout out to the bay let's hop into it Just that that's money in the bed uh, When they see us, they got nothing left to say uh, Out the bottle, sipping on some pumpkin yo <laughs> Wait a fucking minute Okay uh, I was trying to contain my excitement Because I'm low-key shocked Like, Tanache is very talented Love her but like, I wasn't expecting this. She is giving like this same feeling of the verse coming on is the same feeling I had when Sierra in Goodies, when I first heard her do that, you think you're slick, but I'm not trying. However it goes, like the little high pitch opera voice she did on like a super hard R&B hip hop track. That was like the one first time I've ever heard no shit like that. Actually, no one's ever really done it since Sierra on Goodies. And this, oh, Sierra did the same thing on High Price. If you're a Sierra fan, you know what I'm talking about. But Tanache is giving me that and I'm giving her her tans already. Fire, like fire. What I will say is, even though I think Tanache looks gorgeous, I am not a big fan of her with these short pixie cut wigs. I just think she, she, she looks good still, but I just would rather see her with like long hair though, you know, like, but I, for the rich bitch aesthetic, I get it. Y'all hear the opera in the background? This is a page out of Sierra's book, but like Sierra doesn't even know this is a part of her book. Like, this is fire though. Like, do y'all hear this? I love creative shit. I just love sounds. I love mixing different genres. I love shit like this. Like, and then she's giving us a look too. Ooh, Tanache. This is just fun. This is definitely giving 2020 Stepford wives vibes. Um, so all that shit I was just talking about, not really feeling her with like the short pixie cut wigs. As the video progresses, it grew on me like the blonde one. I don't think, maybe I probably couldn't see her in like a, um, well, I mean, she did have a blonde one in the no drama video, but I didn't really care for that neither. 
but I don't know, for some reason, maybe it's the different styles. I just think it may has to be styled a certain way, but I'm actually loving her hair and the looks in this now. Like, I like this. It's like very Gwen Stefani. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, like I'm living, y'all. When I'm excited, sometimes I don't even know what to say because I'm just like the fact that she is over here acting out or you know doing the ad libs for the the um opera vocals. What a talented black queen. Woo. Oh, bitch. A mullet? Nah, Shay. You had me, then you lost me. I don't know. One thing I really just can never get with is a mullet. Like... I think the only person with the mullet or that's had a mullet that like maybe I'll give a pass to is like Rihanna and Cassie. They've both done like high fashion things with mullets. But even then, I live for Cassie and I live for Rihanna, but I'm just not the biggest fan of a mullet. She looks cute though, so it's not like she's looking burnt or anything like that. I just don't know how I feel about mullets as a whole, you know? Yes, that's go, that's go. That was fire. Yes. Yes. Get that money help. Okay, I lied. I like the mullet. <laughs> it goes with it. It's like a dominatrix type of thing. Fire. And it just ended right abruptly. That was fire. Yeah, I lied. I like the mullet. It goes right with the little leather black outfit. Definitely giving you dominatrix. Giving you BDSM. You know, Fifty Shades of Nigga. Like, live for it. But the rest of the looks were fire. Like, she's giving princess, Stanford vibes. Like, ah. Uh. So the visual is a 10 for me. The song is a 12 because her incorporating the opera vocals over the West Coast type of beat, like, ain't no bitch ever did know shit like that. Never. Like, this is a whole new thing. To be honest, if she did a whole album like this, I mean, I feel like Tanache would just, like, ah, I don't know. She just would be, like, otherworldly, like, mm, this is the direction she needs to go in. This is her lane. This was flawless, in my opinion, from top to bottom. So, yay. Kudos, Nashe. Okay, bitch. If you like that, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Check out my Spotify playlist. I'll all my social media in the description box. And I'll see you on the next one.